Okay, so um, unit uh, 36, um, question 109 and 110. So this is about electrostatics. Electrostatics is when uh, you have charges, but um, they're not really moving. You know, <laughs> it's not current running through a wire or something like that. So, uh, you know, charges exert forces on each other. You know, that's the, the nature of electrostatics. And, and the expression that's used is that like charges repel and opposites attract. This is a very important concept in basic physics, in, in general chemistry, and for organic chemistry as well. Uh, like charges repel and opposites attract. And all of this is according to uh, Coulomb's law. Um, you know, Coulomb's law has the same structure as uh, uh, Newton's law of gravity, which is um, which has this same uh, look to it. Newton's law of gravity would be force of gravity is the gravitational constant times m1, m2, the two masses involved, over r squared, where r is the distance between the masses. But um, Coulomb's law, this is the electric uh, force, and uh, here we have the electric force is K, Coulomb's constant, you don't have to memorize it, and uh, Q1, Q2, the two charges involved, uh, over R squared, where R is the distance between the two. So typical, uh, you know, if you double the distance between two point charges, you quarter the force, because it's inverse square. If you triple the distance between the charges, triple, three times R, then the three is squared so you get one ninth the force so those are um, typical uh, relations so <clears throat> um, in this particular instance uh, we're looking we're, we're really examining what's happening with uh, charge uh, plus Q right uh, in fact I'm sorry it, it's plus 2 Q so we're really looking at this plus 2 Q charge and what, what we can say about this electric force is that uh, whether you're looking at the force that plus Q will feel on the left, because it, it's, it's a feeling of force, it's being repelled by, by both the Q charges on either side. Um, and what we're trying to do is uh, in question 109, where it says the sphere at S will experience a zero net electrical force when D2 is equal to, so we want to know um, where, at what point, the forces on both sides are going to be balanced, are going to be equal. And in order to do this, you can set up uh, simultaneous equations if you want, um, but there definitely is uh, an easier way than setting up equations on what ha um, using Coulomb's law, what happens on the right side and what happens on the left side and getting them to equate. Um, an easier way is uh, for you to um, sort of understand the following. Um, first of all, if you're looking at the force, either on the left or on the right, of 2Q, keep in mind that K is constant, that's not going to change in the reactions. Q, the part of the Q that includes 2Q, is not going to change. Because even if you do simultaneous reactions, you have to put 2Q in both equations. But 2Q is not changing here. So K is not changing, and 2Q is not changing. So on each side of 2Q, what we have is a force that repels 2Q, and that force is going to be proportional to Q over R squared. So it's not going to, this is going to be constant. Okay, this is going to be constant, this is going to be constant. So what it's going to be really proportional to is to Q over R squared. And for the force to be constant on both sides, we need to know this point. Having 3Q on the right side of um, 2Q, how does that affect R? Because we don't want the e equation to change. So if this Q all of a sudden becomes 3, how do we keep this force even or constant? Well, if this Q becomes times 3, the only way to keep this constant is that we get R times root 3. Because then root 3 squared becomes 3 
then the threes cancel and the equation is constant. We're back to where we were. So multiplying the r, the distance, by root 3 keeps the, con uh, the equation constant. And so uh, 109, the answer is c. We multiply the distance, a d1, um, by uh, root 3, and then it, it saves us any time doing simultaneous equations. Question 110. A small sphere identical to da 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 da, carrying a charge of minus 2q. So we're starting with minus 2q is brought into contact with a sphere, da da da. After making contact with three spheres in the stated order, which is r, s, then t, the charge on the sphere at t is. Okay, so if we have uh, the charge. If we have two identical metal spheres, well, when they touch, the charges will conduct and those charges will be shared equally. So those charges will be divided in two. So for example, we have this minus 2q. When it touches r, r according to the diagram, figure one, r is plus q. So then we'll have minus 2q plus q Okay, but that will be shared over two spheres. So minus 2q plus q gives us um, minus q. So that equals minus q. But that minus q is being shared by two spheres. So it's split. The charge will be split in two. So we'll have minus one half q and we'll have minus one half q because there are two spheres. Now this minus one half q uh, sphere is going to touch s. So we're going to have this minus half q touching s, so plus s, and s is 2q, and it's plus 2q. So we have plus 2q. Well, this is going to uh, equal um, 3 halves q, okay, one and a half q. And so this is one and a half q. This is plus, of course. So we have plus uh, three halves q, but this plus three half q is in two spheres. So we're going to split that again, and we have three quarters q up here and three quarters q over here. Now three quarters q is going to touch t. So uh, we're adding, actually, t, and t is um, 3q. So we're adding 3q. Um, I won't write 3q. Instead, I'll write uh, 12 over 4q, because I'll just put a common denominator. So we have 12 over 4q that we're adding to 3 quarters q, and then that's going to equal 15 over 4q. So we have positive 15 over 4q, which is a combination of the previous sphere and a combination of t. So now we have to split this one into the two spheres. Um, and uh, so that'll be in half. So we'll have 15 over 8q and 15 over 8q. And uh, that's it. Um, if you want to uh, read up about uh, electrostatics, you can go to the uh, Gold Standard GAMSAT book, uh, section uh, Physics 9.1. And uh, beside that, uh, you should take a little break and then start back studying. <laughs> so good luck with your studies, and uh, we'll see you again online or in a classroom somewhere. Good luck.